Okay, let's talk about connective tissue. Connective tissue is primarily collagen fibrils made by spindly fibroblasts. Connective tissue is one of the most common abundant types of tissue throughout the entire body because basically it w it's what holds everything together. Uh, connective tissue can be what we call loose or dense depending on the uh, density of the collagen bundles. And in a field like this, an area that is pinker would have a greater density of collagen bundles versus an area which is lighter, which would have a lesser density. In addition, if the connective tissue is very, very loose, you may often see it uh, interspersed with soft yellow adipose tissue as well. So adipose tissue is often thought of as loose connective tissue as well. In addition, if the uh, density of uh, collagen fibers in a connective tissue is definitely one-dimensional or linear or all lined up, you know, like uh, parallel bands, that would be what we call uh, regular connective tissue in which the stress put on it is basically in one direction for example, a tendon. When you see collagen fibers, which seem to go every which way, uh, that's what we call irregular uh, connective tissue. Uh, another thing we could say about connective tissue in general is that uh, dense uh, connective tissue is more likely to be regular or like tendinous, and loose connective tissue is more likely to be uh, having fibers going every which way. A general rule of thumb is that every spindly looking cell within connective tissue of any type is a fibroblast until proven otherwise. Loose connective tissue uh, is more likely to have other types of cells, however. If the cell is round, it's more the most likely cell it is would be a lymphocyte, especially if it has minimal to almost zero looking cytoplasm. If the uh, nucleus, for example, is eccentric, like you see here, that's more likely to be a uh, plasma cell, although there are other classical features of plasma cell. That's most likely a plasma cell. That's most likely a lymphocyte. Otherwise, once again, every spindly cell or fusiform cell within connective tissue is a fibroblast until proven otherwise. The notable exception to that rule is if you see a spindly looking cell uh, near the lumen of a blood vessel like you see here. So that's probably a capillary. And of course, there's always uh, blood vessels in connective tissue, like they could be anywhere. This is certainly some kind of small blood vessel. So when you see a spindly cell like here or here, it seems to be lining the wall of the blood vessel, especially the part that's touching the blood cells, then that's almost certainly an endothelial cell rather than a fibroblast. Can you see the waviness of these collagen fibers here? Do you see how they go every which way? Do you see how there are areas which look like not only uh, are, there's, does there appear to be a lack of fibers, but in some areas, like perhaps here, uh, which I hope we can see pretty soon, there will be uh, adipose tissue as well. So that would be another evidence that we're dealing with loose, irregular connective tissue. Another name for loose, irregular connective tissue is areolar connective tissue, and that's exactly what we're looking at here. So once again, uh, everything pink and fibrillar is probably collagen. The pink stuff, if it's denser, would have a greater density of collagen fibers. They all take up the eosin stain. And of course, in the trichrome stain, there would be uh, green because they're uh, cytoplasm of a fibroblast and collagen takes up a green appearance in a trichrome stain. Any spindly cell which looks like it's along a vessel, like a blood vessel here, is probably an endothelial cell. Any round cell, like perhaps here or here or uh, oh maybe here, uh, the most likely cell it would be would be a lymphocyte, although if you look closely by the usual means you may find it to be a plasma cell if the nucleus is off to the side, or a macrophage, 
otherwise known as histiocyte, if there appears to be a lot of granular or darkened cytoplasm clustering around the nucleus. This is a classical uh, a real or loose connective tissue. And once again, I will ask you before we close, is do you feel that you can really identify absolutely everything within connective tissue? If the answer is yes, then we have fulfilled our mission. Uh, and that's what we plan on doing with all of these slides.